Revealed, the 789 bhp McLaren Senna hypercar. The new Ultimate Series McLaren is the company's fastest and most extreme car ever. I standing next to what can only be described as a 720s subjected to a state-sponsored doping program. It's swap beautiful for brutal and soft undulations for jagged voids. Your eyes flit around it, not knowing where to land or what to investigate first. This is what happens when you let engineers, not stylists, design a car. Up until this point, we would known it only by its P15 Cogan M, the second installment of McLaren Ultimate Series, five years after the P1 rearranged our understanding of the natural world. Now it has a name the McLaren Senna. Bold move, right, naming it after arguably the world's greatest racing driver. But when you learn that Bruno Senna, our right nephew, has been involved in the development, and its mission statement is to be the company most focused and effective track car ever, it fits. The brief was quite clear on this car, to make it as fast as we can around a track, but still road legal. It our fastest car, comparable to AP1 around a lap. The Andy Palmer, line director for the Ultimate Series. The P1 was very much a road car, but focused for the track, while the BP23 will be a Hyper GT, it will take three passengers and luggage over great distances and at incredible speeds. It all about straight line performance. Ah yes, the BP23. Just to recap, that the third member of the Ultimate Series, the one we all see this time next year, the hybrid one with three seats and a revival of the McLaren F1 central driving position, the one that L cost 0.6 M plus taxes. Every one of the 106 examples are already sold out. It important to note that neither of these cars, the Senna or BP23, are direct replacements for the P1. They both share the P1 uncompromising philosophy and appetite for speed of course, but fork off in quite different directions. A more obvious replacement for the P1 will come, we told, but not for another five years at least. Back to the Senna and first things first, it is not a hybrid. You will find no battery ballast or e-motors here, just a development of the 720's 4.0 liter twin turbo V8 wound up to 789 bhp and producing 590 pounds FT of torque through McLaren trusty 7-speed twin clutch ox. These are numbers that are no longer startling in the world of 1,400 bhp plus hypercars, but when you combine that figure with the Senna obsessive focus on weight and downforce, its potency grows. McLaren claims a dry weight of 1,198 kilograms, 85 kilograms less than the 720s despite packing 79 bhp more. That 553 bhp per ton for the 720s versus 659 bhp per ton for the Senna quite some leap. Unfortunately, McLaren HAS and released performance figures for the Senna yet, but let break out the calculator and do the maths ourselves. Considering the one 1,395 kilograms, 903 bhp P1 has a power to weight ratio of 647 bhp per ton, but the Senna has more downforce, we all assume acceleration figures will be roughly similar. So we e talking 0-62 mph in 2.8 seconds, 0-124 mph in 6.8 seconds. 0-186 mph in 16.5 seconds and a standing quarter mile in 9.8 seconds at 152 mph or thereabouts. In terms of lap time our money on the Senna, with 197 kilograms less to carry around and the latest tire and brake technology to call upon. Turns out there are quite a lot going on under those arches. Bespoke Pirelli P0s or Trofeos as a no-cost option.